Hello and welcome friends. In this tutorial we will try to look at popen. Popen is one of the many IPC mechanism in Linux or POSIX compliant system. IPC stands for inter process communication. There are two types of pipes. One is a named pipe and one is a normal pipe which we open using this system called call as popen. Named pipe we will look in subsequent chapter. In this chapter, we will cover popen. I have opened the man page for popen, and as you can see, the syntax of this call is: it will accept a char star pointer, which will tell what command to execute. This command could be a path to a binary, to an executable file, and the type. The type will tell whether it's for reading or for writing. When we open a pipe using popen, it's a unidirectional pipe. which means if you have one pipe open between two process like let's suppose you have process p1 and then there is a pipe to process p2 that means process p1 can send data to process p2 it will not have happen vice versa if you want to have vice versa you will have to open two pipes in this example we will look at unidirectional pipe to communicate between two process Now before I go ahead and give you a C example I would like to show you from the shell perspective how does the pipe looks like many of you might be already aware but let's try to do a quick recap let's suppose i have a test file file called as test.txt and this is has a text called hi there now if i say cat text it will show me the text of that file now if i want to do a word count for word count in linux there is a command called as wc which tells you the word count however we don't want to run wc directly we want to run a word count for this file test.txt so what we will do is test.txt and this cat of this test.txt will output on the standard terminal so you saw here that the data comes to the standard terminal however instead of passing it to the standard terminal we will pipe it to the another command so what it means is it will pipe to wc and wc has an options of finding the characters with minus c or line or word with minus w now if i do that it has two words and if i see the character it has nine characters so if you see on the command line it has a total of nine characters and it's a two word so this is what piping means so you pipe the output of one command so consider this as one command and piping to another command called as wc and of course minus c is an option it's not another command but it's an option to run this wc command same thing we can achieve with popen so let's open the terminal and try to run a popen so before i run it let me construct one hello world application so let's see i will have another file called as test.txt and in this i will just say hash include stdio.h int main and then i will say printf hello there okay now i will compile this using gcc minus c test dot c and i will give an option of minus o and minus o will tell what is the name of the executable if i give test it will rename it will produce an output called as test as an executable or if i can say hello then it will produce an executable whose name is hello so there is a executable called as hello and if i run this hello it will just tell me hello there whatever we have outputted as part of this executable and if i look with the file command this is a elf binary on the linux side so this is one thing now let's let me open another program called as popen.c okay So now let me quickly open a program for popen. So as we have seen with the shell command, we can redirect from one command to another. So using a C code, 
we can achieve the same result so i have a program called as popen.c already written and in this popen.c i have a couple of header files this is a standard unix standard header file this is for standard library this is for stdio for standard input output and string is for string manipulation so here i will take a file pointer with all capital letters and this is a read fp this is what is being written by popen and then i have a buffer buff size plus 1 and i will have a number of characters being read then if you want to look what is the buff size the buff size is given in stdio.h and if you open stdio.h you will see buff size written as 8192 this can be platform dependent but on linux 64 bit ubuntu this is 8192 then what i do is i will whatever buffer we have taken it might have some junk character so we memset it with all zeros you can use memset or if you are coming from c c++ background and new new c c you could also do like this but memset is advisable when you are doing with pure c code so it will make it all zeros now when this entire buffers becomes zero then what i do is we will do a p open now if you see here p open accepts two parameters one is a command so this is the command we will run and the type the type could be read or write here we are using read because we will be opening this executable and reading the output of this executable and reading it into this variable read fp and read fp using this file pointer not variable exactly variable file pointer we can try to read the data what is the data coming out so once we have a pipe open to this process in a read mode then it will return me a non non null value and it will return the address basically this points to the address now if this is not null then it has some value and while it is not null i will have this if condition so if it is not null i could have made it as a while if there are a lot of data but it's just a limited data so i could have just a if but if you have lot of data instead of if you could have made it while so if i am saying that the return value of popen is not null then i will go ahead and do a f read and f read you might have seen that it's a normal file read so if f read what it does is you have a pointer you have a size and you have a number of elements so what basically f read says is you have a file stream pointer so this is a file stream pointer which you have opened this one and then you have the size each of the element is of size character so each element is of one byte size and the number of elements and the number of element is buff size which we have defined as 8196 in stdio.h and take the data from this file pointer this much data and push it to this buffer the buffer which we have allocated this buffer right now is on the stack it's not on heap it's on stack but it's okay now if we see that the number of characters read is greater than 0 then we have the data received and once we are done with this we have to close the pipe otherwise you will have a kind of a memory leak resource leak it's it points to memory leak also because we have limited number of file stream pointers you can open and then you can have exit so let's try to run this program so compile this using gcc and you can name the executable as anything it up, it's up to you i i could say people or i can say p open it doesn't really matter now if i say p open you will see data received is hello there now if you see here this data is not nowhere is hello where they are written in my p open program this is coming from the hello application which i have written instead of hello there in my hello application i could have written something else it would have printed something else so let's do a quick test on that so if i say test.c and instead of hello there i would say this is a test demo and i will compile my test file test.c minus o hello and then if i run my p open program this will give me this is a test demo so what's happening is this p open will open a pipe 
to this test.c program and whatever is coming out of this test.c basically hello because the executable out of test.c is called as hello so whatever is coming out of hello it will be consumed by popen now we can not only do like this we can run other commands also system commands like hello is one of the system uh, hello is one of the program which we have written what if we do ls minus l so let's try to do ls minus l so even if you do a ls minus l gcc p open so what happens ls minus l when you do typically it will throw the output onto the screen in this case ls minus l will not throw the output onto the screen but ls minus l will give the output to p open program and p open program in turns if we want we can print it so now let's see p open and you see it's the output ls minus l now you might be confused it's exactly like ls so what if happened because we open with p open now let's suppose we don't print the data we get the data but we don't print the data then what happens see nothing what it means is that when we have the ls command running we get the data in read p uh, read p file pointer and from the file pointer we take it to a buffer the data is in the buffer now it's up to me whether i print the data or do whatever with the data so p open is a way of communicating so here if you see here there's one process hello the other process is called as p open or you can say one process is ls minus l and the other process is p open and the data from ls minus l is being piped to p open using this called call as p open system call and that's how you deal with now this is one way like you are getting the data from ls minus l command or hello command to this program using the pipe which is a read only now if you want to write from this program back to ls minus l you cannot write to ls minus l you could have written into some other file but let's suppose if you want to write the data back you will have to open another p uh, open command another pipe and with the write mode and those things we can deal with so that's how we deal with p open 